Hello everyone. So today we are going to cover a topic that is how we can test our scripts. So basically here we have an option of background script. So we have a in system definition we have scripts background. So you can go there. Okay. So basically if you are not good at scripting and you're facing any challenges during your script and you want to debug it, right? So what you can do, um, first of all, you need to write your scripts, uh, steps manually first before writing into the script so that you can easily cover all the steps. So today I'm going to write a script by which uh, you can filter out all, all the RITMs where attachment is present. So as a result, you will be having an array of RITM where attachment is present in the system. So I don't have much data. This is an out of box instance. So I have only five RITMs here. So let's begin. So what all steps are needed? So the first step will be to uh, query, query the RITM table, whatever is the name, okay? Then second step will be um, which data we want to retrieve. So I don't have any specific date. So, so or any specific conditions. So maybe I can say where active is true filter out all those um, par items. And then the third is um, I want to check if attachment is present, right? If yes, then push the RITM number to the the number to the array as an array I, array will be my result result array that's all and I will increment my count so that I will know how many RITMs are there at the end Increment count and at the end I can print result array with count. Okay. Great. So let's implement all these steps here one by one. So I don't want to make this video so lengthy. So let me, I have a code ready here. So let me just do a copy for this. So I don't want any additional query. If you want like for a specific created date, if you want, so you can add such code like active, active true I will keep here. that's how so this is all step uh, this is my array and this is a count i am maintaining for like for counting the RITM numbers so this uh, by new glide record i have queried the requested item table and then encoded query that involves the active true flag so by RITM dot query we are fetching um, the data through API. So while I will be checking all the records, suppose if we have 10, I have only five records, so it will fetch the five records here. And it will loop through one by one. So I am checking here for first one, first row, if it has attachment, so it will have true or false value. So suppose if you want to print it, just type here gs dot print. So you will see the value here. 
let's run the script and, and uh, then if we have it as true we are incrementing the count and we are pushing that um, number number to the array and at the end we are printing the total count total number of our items and the array of our items let's see so see we had five rows so it checked for all for the third one where we have numbered this we have attachment and the count is also incremented by one and we have one our item here that is this so let me show you the attachment over here you can see the attachment here so let me attach uh, one attachment in one triple zero three so that you will be able to go by even by dragging here on the rtm it will get attached you can use this icon as well so let me quickly show you again you can see that two true are here at the end i have two um, count is two and i have two r items and I can simply go and filter here as this is array. So I will just say number is one of number is one of this. So now I have my array items where attachment is attached. So basically, this is how you can test your scripts by using GSPrint and one by one. And best practice is to write the steps um, over a notebook or um, online editor so that you it will be easy so then you don't skip any code so first you should you should be knowing what you need to do then write those steps into the code that will be always easy so this is a one method of uh, scripts background where you can test your script if you are having any trouble um, with the scripting so you can always test here and another way is a fixed script so basically if we are using background script we don't have any option to stop it in between in between but fixed scripts are more flexible than background script so fixed script even offer more options so i'm not going into the details i already created a fixed script So whenever an application is installed and upgraded, the fixed script codes uh, get executed. We decided if we want it before that uh, installation upgrade of the application, or if it is not checked, then it is executed after. And you can see any customization you make to the fixed script will only apply when you manually run it, run the script. So instance upgrade use the out of box scripts only. So after upgrade or the scripts we have out of box, those are executed. Um, uh, once the instance is upgraded on the basis of the condition provided over there. So let's see, um, I have already created this. The same script I have created here. I have not added this query part. So let's see. Let's see it. And you will see the total count is two. And again, we have that array. It also gives you total time of execution as well. So you can see always the show progress workers. 
So if you want to cancel in between, if you feel like uh, the script is long and it is um, going into loop or it is stuck somewhere, you can always come here and it provides a cancel button also, but this script is already completed. So you won't see that here. So yeah, that's how it works. That's all about um, debugging your scripts and having a quick output from this these script uh, debugging options. Thank you so much for listening. Keep watching.